What is the persona archetype? Carl Jung's work stated that the persona archetype was the social face that an individual showed to the world. According to him, a mask designed on the one hand to make a definite impression upon others and on the other to conceal the true nature of the individual. The term persona was coined by Swiss psychotherapist Dr. Carl Jung and taken from the Latin word persona, which refers to the masks used by Etruscan mimes. One of Jung's archetypes, the persona, refers to the personality that an individual projects to others. It is distinct from the actual self. To put it another way, the persona is how we display ourselves to the outside world. According to Jung, the persona is a kind of mask designed on the one hand to make a distinct impression on others and on the other hand to conceal the true nature of the individual. Persona is also described by him as the individual system of adaptation to or the manner he assumes in dealing with the world. Every calling of profession, for example, has its own characteristic persona. It is easy to study these things nowadays when the photographs of public personalities so frequently appear in the press. A certain kind of behavior is forced on them by the world, and professional people endeavor to come up to these expectations. Only the danger is that they become identical with their personas, the professor with his textbook, the tenor with his voice. Then the damage is done. Henceforth, he lives exclusively against the background of his own biography. For by that time it is written, then he went to such and such a place and said this or that, etc. One could say, with a little exaggeration, that the persona is that which in reality one is not, but which oneself as well as others think one is. What's the purpose of the persona archetype? The persona archetype allows an individual to interact with their surroundings. It accomplishes this by reflecting the individual's function in life. As a result, the individual is able to reach a compromise between their natural psychological structure and society, allowing them to adapt to society's demands. Social persona development. Jung believed that developing a sustainable social persona is critical for a person's success in preparing for adult social existence in the world. Jung saw the danger in people becoming identical to their identities, whatever they were. As Jung put it, the upshot might be a shallow, brittle, conformist type of personality that is all persona, with an excessive concern for what people think. He considered this harmful because it rendered them unaware of any distinction between themselves and the world in which they lived, with little sense of themselves as separate from what society demands of them. He believed that the danger of this was an empty persona or an enantiodromia, the emergence of the repressed individuality from beneath the persona at some point later in life. The Persona Archetype Examples In more common vernacular, the persona archetype represents someone's public image. It is the mask that each person wears in public to present an external image of oneself. The mask can represent a wide variety of things, including father, mother, son, daughter, queen, king, doctor, artist, lawyer, prime minister, president, athlete, singer, and so on. The persona archetype is frequently important to your positive growth. Here are a couple such examples. Teacher, lawyer, doctor, policeman, mother, father, husband, wife, etc. Persona archetype, development and social adaptation. As a result of social adaptation, the persona archetype plays a crucial role in assisting the individual in successfully interacting with their peers. Children learn as they grow that there is a need for them to behave in certain ways in order to meet society's expectations. The persona emerges as a social mask designed to conceal all of the individual's most primitive wants, impulses, and emotions, which are not regarded socially acceptable. However, if left unchecked, the persona archetype can become excessive. If this occurs, it may indicate a personality that is not authentic, but rather fictional. Politicians, celebrities, and social media influencers are examples of people that do this, these are the people who claim to have a specific function to play in social life, but may use spin doctors, public relations professionals, or media gurus to control their public image. People are getting increasingly competent at controlling their public persona in the age of digital and social media. When the persona becomes excessive in this way, the individual's real personality becomes twisted to the point that it is virtually unrecognizable. Jung's Individuation Process 
Jung's individuation process begins at the persona level, with awareness of its presence and function, and the diminution of its often oppressive imperative character. Individualization aims to develop a more realistic, flexible persona that helps them navigate society, but does not collide with or hide their true self.